rockin' with that chest, not Jeffers TV, cake ass. Now, Rich. Little Bill, showin' twins on Pirelli skills. Got your bitches dilated like the mixed fields. No time to stop, focus only on the meal. So the boy Boosie, man, he done dragged BG into his beef with Kodak. Uh, Boosie, man, I ain't made no videos about this lately. I just been watching everything, but the boy Boosie, man, he kind of Boosie kind of then. You, you know how you know how they say if you let a person talk so much, they'll show you who they really are. Boosie, one of them dudes who should have been quiet, man. Like the more he talk, the more. It seemed like he a clown to me. You know what I'm saying? The most shit that he say and the most shit that he do, I'm like, man, this nigga here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he's starting to get annoying. You know what I'm saying? That nigga is annoying. Like, bro, don't nobody want to hear your opinion on everything. At first, the shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? But when you start doing it too much, he might as well go ahead and start him a YouTube channel. I don't know what I don't know what he waiting on. You know what I'm saying? Cause he talk about it and discuss shit more than I do when I got a damn YouTube channel. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I understand what he doing though. He just trying to stay relevant. Cause ain't nobody really listen to his music. Well shit, don't nobody listen to his music. Not his new music. His new his new album he came out with ain't said shit but 500 copies. So ain't nobody listening to the music. Nah, he still do shows and shit Cause he got, he got old music He got a couple classic songs and shit So he still gonna be able to do them shows People gonna go to the shows But I know I ain't trying to hear no, no Boosie music I never really jammed Boosie Because I always thought that Boosie, his voice was annoying Especially when he, when he was young All that Man, I don't wanna hear I can't ride around and listen to that shit, man You know what I'm saying? I want some, some smooth laid back shit Some shit that's that sound that sound natural to listen to. Not no motherfucking this nigga with all this bullshit. So I never really just jam boots. I can't tell you nothing but a cup. I can't tell you nothing but his hit song. I don't know nothing the rest of that shit, but he done got to the point now, bro. This man here, that's the only way that he can stay relevant is to goddamn me pop shit on the internet, pop shit on live, and you know that that, that that's how he, that's how he keep his name in everybody's mouth. Which is is kind of a smart tactic, you know what I'm saying? Because he know ain't nobody listening to music and nobody watching the movies. Nobody really supporting none of his other shit. So the only way that he can keep his name in the algorithm is to get on live and pop shit. So he done started this shit with Kodak Black. He getting mad at Kodak Black because Kodak Black went and did a feature with 6 9 Man, who give? first of all, who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying, bro? You need to be paying attention about more than things, bro. You got a case, you fighting. You know what I'm saying? Your little girl came out. She upset with you, whatever y'all got going on. You know what I'm saying? You got the little thing with Young Blue going on. Bro, you need to worry about your own business. A real nigga, I don't give a damn who did what with who. Now, that don't mean I'm a rock with you, but I ain't finna put no fucking energy toward it. As to going out saying, ah, oh, man, this nigga here, he did that. The reason why, you know why? Because... People don't care. Gunner, Gunner had what? The number one album? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what he did. Man, it's it's like, bro, don't nobody really give a damn, man. Let them niggas do them. Just don't support it if you don't like it. But it's people out there that's gonna support it. It's money out there to be made. So it's gonna get made. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gonna make the executive decision to do this here and get this money. You know what I'm saying? Because it's money to be gotten. You know what I'm talking about? So then he go back and, uh, you know, Kodak had a little something to say about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then now they going back and forth a little bit. Then the dude 1090 Jake come up with a damn video talking about Kodak was in PC. First of all, I ain't racist or nothing like that. But black folks, bro, we got to do better. How y'all going to let somebody from another race come and tell and, and dictate how y'all treat somebody that's a part of your own race, bro? You know what I'm saying? Or, or y'all don't do the homework yourself? Now he can. I, I ain't tripping on him giving out information, but once he give the information, don't take it as law. Go back and do your own research before you fuck around and just run with what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Because he is not a part of your race, which I ain't a racist person at all. But I'm just saying, like me, 
I don't have no business speaking on how Mexicans get on and how they operate because I'm not a Mexican. I don't know what it feels like to be a Mexican. I don't know the politics of being a Mexican. You see what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying about him. But anyway, he put out a video talking about Kodak Black was telling or whatever. Then Boosie gonna get in the comments talking about, oh yeah, BG said that. BG told me that he was in PC and da da da. Bro, why would you even say that? B BG is locked up. What you and BG talk about supposed to stay in between you and BG, man. See that? that that's why motherfuckers ain't got no loyalty, no love. That shit that be breaking up friendships, relationships, and all that because you you somebody tell you some information. And you just can't hold it in. You got to run back and tell. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? That, man. So now BG, so now Kodak, or the Florida people, boys, or whoever the fuck down with Kodak, might be looking at BG kind of fucked up. BG is in the feds. They roll with cars. It's a Florida, I guarantee you, it's a Florida car wherever BG at. So if one of Kodak homeboys is there, nah. You know what I'm saying? It might they, they might have to have a talk about that shit or whatever. Man, did you say that or did you... The Boosie, he free. He can't keep his goddamn mouth closed. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I don't understand that shit, bro. Why? Why? You, but Boosie just want to stay on 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 uh on YouTube and in the algorithm every day. So he come up with more and more outlandish shit to say and do to get that done. You know what I'm saying? And then when I was in the feds, I don't recall it being no damn PC. I recall it being a shoe. Some shit called a shoe. And the shoe is where you go when you get in trouble. Or the shoe is where if if, if they if, if the niggas run you off the yard, you gotta go to the shoe. But but once you go to the shoe, you don't stay there. They ship you off the yard to somewhere else. And then also the shoe is for like if if you go to a to a compound or something. And, and you got beef on that compound. They don't even let you walk the compound. As soon as you get there, they put you straight in the chute. So, but you ain't gonna be there long. They gonna ship you off. So it ain't no, it, it ain't no set segment of uh, a medium security prison or a USP that's PC. Now, now if you go to the low or the camp, that whole motherfucker is like PC, but. Everybody walk around free. It ain't like nobody just just locked up in a thing. So I don't even understand what he's talking about. And if I ain't mistaken, Boosie, didn't they say you was on PC? So what do it matter? Who cares, brother? That's all I'm trying to say at the end of the day, man. Who gives a shit who was on PC and who was on? Man, we don't give a fuck about that, man. You don't get no money for that, man. You know, say, man, niggas trying to take care of their family, man. This is the free world. This ain't jail, my nigga, first of all. Quit trying to bring jail politics to the free world. Man, they, they got they got gangs in jail that don't even operate in the free world. They only operate when they go to jail. So that's to let you know. There's two different worlds. You can't merge the world of prison and free together. You know what I'm saying? So basically what I'm trying to tell uh, Boosie is, bro, keep BG out your business. If BG wanted that out, he'd put it out. He got people that can goddamn me. He got people that's free that can goddamn. If, if, if he want to say something, they can record it or they can set up an Instagram page and say BG said this here, that, and the other. Quick, don't use that man, you know what I'm saying, for your little beefs and shit like that. Because really, on the cool, it sounds like you ain't got nothing to fight with, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man. Uh. You know, I mean, I got balling in the mix, sports talk going down. We're going to have some good things coming up, especially when football season starts. It's kind of slow right now because, you know, niggas don't really be watching baseball and whatnot. But football season, basketball season come up. It's going to go down for sure. Uh, yo, man, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video, man. It's OGBC, man. Just not check us. Move slow. Think fast for sure.